Hey everyone, so in this tutorial I'm going to be doing a pretty simple and pretty cool um, like flame wave weapon, which by that I mean um, when I when I attack a target it's going to create a wave of flame that comes out from me and creates explosions along the ground and then damages everything along that line. And um, I actually based it off this ability that Rainer already has, but I gave it to him as a weapon now with the flame thing. So I'm just going to go right ahead and demo it. Um, if I attack this guy you can see it shoot out there and then it damages all those units and I'm going to click this guy and it went out and damaged them and go here so the range of the weapon is actually 8 right now but the length of the uh, fire goes to 13 range so that's up to you to tweak it but for now it's fine for me um, they actually don't acquire me because the range is too long um, but you could always tweak that in your map um, and you can make the this, them space closer together so you don't see like the uh, you don't see the gaps between the flame um, but I'll show you how to do that anyway. So why don't we go ahead and start this tutorial? So to start off, let's go make a new map. Um, make sure you set the dependency to custom so we can see the uh, penetrator round ability. Um, add those two in and then drag story up to the top. Press OK. And then I'm just going to be making a relatively small map here on Agria, which is fine. And I'm going to press OK. Okay, so um, make sure on the units tab, and we're just going to drop, um, we're just going to search for Rainer, and then we're just going to drop a Rainer and some Hydralis in, just so we can see our testing is working. So I'm going to drop uh, Rainer for player 1 uh, down here, and then for player 15 hostile, I'm going to drop some Hydralisks. Okay, and just, oops, it's not a Hydralisk, there we go. And I'm just going to drag them in a line, um, kind of far away, so we don't accidentally shoot them before the thing starts. Okay, and let's go straight into the data editor now. So, um, as I mentioned earlier, the ability was basically just penetrate around. Um, so if you search for Rainer um, in the effects tab of the data editor, and look for, it's called like Rainer Snipe, I believe. Yes, here it is. So the actual ability um, does a create persist. If we look in the abilities here, the Railgun Snipe, which is the penetrate around, which has a different name here for some reason, um, what it does is, its effect that it does is Rainer Snipe Create Persistent. And what Create Persistent does is it just does an effect over and over. And you can have offsets. So in the case that we want to do is we want to do the flame, the flame effect over and over. Offset by this amount is fine. But if you wanted to make it a bit tighter, you could change these values. But anyways, I'll go over that later. So since Create Persistence is the highest level effect, like it goes Create Persistent, which goes, which each, um, each persistent like it'll go it'll go one here one here one here one here one here one here up to uh, 13 and it's offsetting by one one uh, one range each time and each time it does that it's going to do a search and then the search is going to do the set and then the set is going to do a damage and a behavior and we're not going to do the behavior so let's go start with the create persistent and duplicate it and um, let's see we want the snipe impact we don't want the beam because we're not going to have one and we want the big blood impact, and we don't want the doodad killer, we don't want the behavior, we want the damage effect, and we want the search area effect, and we don't need any of this, so let's press OK. And let's rename this to Flame Wave Persistent. Suggest, OK. And now the first thing you're going to see is that um, pretty much everything is good to go, except if you wanted to make this a bit tighter, you could make this like negative 0.5, negative 1, negative 1.5, negative 2, negative 2.5, and so on, just to make um, it make the range a bit smaller, uh, which would be probably good, but it'll also make the explosions a bit closer to each other. Um, and then anyway, so it's doing our search area here. So let's change this to uh, flame wave search. And the search ability, I mean search effect here, needs to be changed so that each time it, uh, each time it's called, it's going to do our damage copy. And uh, the radius is fine. It's just a small little explosion radius. Well, maybe let's make it one because it's bigger than Rainer's uh, snipe attack. And so now you can see it cleaned up our object explorer here a bit. Uh, so our persistent is going to call the search each time it procs along that wave. And then the search is going to call this thing, which is flame wave damage, which does a lot of damage, which is fine. So we can see that the hydralists die. Um, the rest is fine here. Uh, okay. 
Uh, there's a lot of subtle things that duplication takes care of for you. Like if we made this from scratch, it would be a huge pain. Uh, but because we duplicated, we can use this. I mean, not we can use uh, this stuff's already set for us. And marker, uh, marker. What it does is it prevents it prevents the unit from being hit more than once. So if a unit gets hit by um, two procs of this, then it will only count one of them. Um, if you have marker stuff set up here, which I don't fully understand, but it's already set up here. Um, so I'm not going to go too far into that, but caster points important and stuff like that. And um, one thing I'm going to actually do is ch set a period duration here of 0.2. Um, because his snipe ability by default was just like one constant wave, but we want a little bit of delay between each uh, flame explosion. So I put a 0.2 in there. And you could down the period count, but then you'd have to modify this a bit because there's 13 things in here. And anyway, so the search will do this, and then it'll do the damage, and then it'll play this uh, play the sound when it hits. And we want to change the sound to uh, flame wave proc sound. Click suggest, press OK. And um, let's see, let's change this to be Terran. Let's change the sound to be Terran. Uh, Terran explosion small. OK. And right now it's doing it whenever the damage occurs. However, we want to change that to be this search. And whenever the search uh, starts. And let's press OK. So that's good. Um, so whenever whenever our search goes off here, 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 it's going to make all the explosion sounds, not just on the damages that occur later if no units were in the way. And the other thing that didn't get linked here, which we need to go into actors, is our this thing. Uh, we need to change this to be uh, flame wave fire impact. So this will be the actual fire fire model explosion. That's what the actual will do here. And it's not linked right now to the effect because something got changed in it. Oops. Let me search for flame so I can see uh, my thing. Here it is. So um, what we need to do is change the model to be uh, what's a good model? Terran. Let's see. Terran. You can mess around with this. I'm just going to use like uh, Terran building fire large. Let's see how that looks. In the previewer, I just clicked on the model here and then now I double clicked on its value and then clicking view and previewer. Um, and this will actually be useful for people if you want to know what a model is um, and you can't see it here. You can see it here and if you can right click on this and change animations to see various animations for the model. Um, so that'll work. Cancel. So um, let's go back to our actor here. And um, what we want to do is go to the events, which is the important area. And it, it was it's set to proc on the behavior of Rainer Commando sniped, which we don't want. We want to change this to E effect. The effect is going to be, um, let's see, R Rainer flame wave search. And it's going to be whenever the search starts. Remove the term here, the condition or whatever. And then we just want to create quite simple. And the other thing we want to do is actually make a timer in here and remove the flame like 0.8 seconds later because the actual default length of the flame is too long. And right now it just it, it destroys it after the animation finishes. So copy paste this and when it starts we actually want to do another thing here. Instead of create we want to do T timer set and the timer is going to be for 0.8 and the name is going to be just T1. Name it whatever you want. doesn't really matter. And then copy paste again and here we're just going to make the... Uh, event to be a timer timer expired leave those as any any and then make uh, add I mean right click and go add term and then change the term to be timer name t1 and then the action this time is going to be d destroy so when when it uh, when flame wave search when this effect occurs it's going to create this flame and then it's going to start a timer for 0.8 seconds and then when that 0.8 seconds expires it's going to destroy the flame effect. So essentially it's going to beat this to destroying it, this default uh, thing in here. And let's press OK. The other thing we want to do is go to the host stuff here. Um, because it's set to unit right now, it's actually only going to, still only going to work if it actually hits a unit. Um, so we need to change this to just be uh, custom and press OK and now it'll be grayed out. And then, oops, and then double click this one and just remove everything from here. And that'll be grayed out now and that'll actually work better. So if we go back to effects now, we can see in the persistent we have our model, our sound, our damage, our search, and the persistent controlling it all. But we won't actually see it in game unless we go to units now. 
and let's search for Rainer. Or we could go to weapons and do this too, but I'm just going to do it for Rainer and make sure you click Jim Rainer Sniper. Um, well, you could do whatever you placed in the map. Um, and then let's find uh, weapons. Let's see, let's scroll down here Rainer Commando Rifle. And let's change the effect. Here it is to be Rainer Flame Wave Persistent. So that's how easy it is. Now he has that flaming thing. But the the only issue is that the tooltip's a bit wrong. Like it, it says like 30 damage, so I'm not sure where it's getting that from. Maybe it's adding things up. Um, I'm not really too sure how to fix that at this point, but uh, the goal of this tutorial is to show the actual flame wave. So and let's make the range, uh, let's make it 8. So he can only aim at 8, but it will go off to 13, uh, 13 range because of the way our persistent effect works. And let's go test this out and see how it goes. Okay, um, so I just got rid of that warning message. And now let's see, we have our guy. He has our, our weapon here, and let's go attack. Cool, and as you can see, it worked beautifully and annihilated those hydras. Let's actually pull them in a bit. Let's, let's get them onto our uh, thing, and then let's attack. So um, that's all I wanted to show. And... Um, you can modify it, play around with it, use it for your map, and change it however you like. And uh, hope this was fun. Thanks for watching.